Tycho Holloway. Shirley Sanders. Dylan. <laughs> Sorry. We are Honeywall. This is Paper Lantern Lounge. I really love these lanterns. Don't. I really, really <laughs> love these lanterns. Like these skinned coconuts. <laughs> yeah, these are skinned coconuts. They're not actually lanterns. They're. We uh my coworker Alan Pellegrin, my ex coworker Alan Pellegrin, uh, calls me up and is like, hey, do you want to be in a band? Do you want to do another band thing again? And I'm, like, and I'm, you know, definitely wanting to do that. I'm like, I've got someone on it who I'd like to add on. And so I, uh, of course, brought Tristan on since we had been there since the beginning. And uh, then we had been jamming on and off with Sean at that point just for fun, just we're getting drunk and playing music. Sangria Social, Sangria Social, Sangria Social, Social Club, Club was the name of that. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't serious, it was just for fun. Um, and then, but we, but we're both really impressed with Sean's guitar playing, and so we're like, oh, let's add him on. I want to bring up one thing about that that I thought yeah. was pretty funny. Is like the first time we actually played with what would be close to Honeywall was sitting in a in Tristan had this apartment in Oklahoma City, and we were we were up like in Tristan's room, and it was all cramped up. And I, I have my guitar and. And Tristan's played a ukulele because he was convinced that, that was <laughs> he his... He played the ukulele for a long time. <laughs> that was his instrument for the entirety of the band. He was going to play uke. And then Dylan played What Would Be Archipelago. And like I came up with the the thing I play on Archipelago. But I And then I didn't hear from him again for like... It was like six, seven months. And then he's like, oh, hey, whatever. It wasn't six, practice. seven months. It, it was, was like, a couple weeks. Now? Well, maybe it felt like six or seven months. He just kept me waiting. So August 2013 was when me and Alan... You and Tristan got together. You played, it was when I first met you two, you played Gloom, and I was just like, okay, it's not I want to do this, it's like I have to do this. I feel like that's how <laughs> it's been this whole time. It's yep. like we have to do this. Once upon a term, she'd stars in her eyes, a basket full of roses and a clever disguise. Sat up on my roof, tried to fool me again, lavender and orchid soaked into his skin. Always said she could find me, no matter what we've Hiding as a grin in the stars You like catch his eyes but never in mine We face one another and we never collide Who's starting fires when my curtains are down Sift through the embers but she never around Who's waiting water trying to drown out the sound Of a sneaking suspicion that someone's in town Taking me for granted Taking Stars in her eyes, a basket full of roses and a clever disguise. Sat up on my roof, 
our band name. Uh, originally, we didn't have a band name. Well, as so many bands don't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was probably like six or six months at least. Yeah, it was a long time. Um, we toyed around with the name Anansi for a while. I came up with that. Uh, I still like that name. But I don't. Let's not explain why. No. Everyone thought yeah, we were man. saying a Nazi, and so we we're like, eh. uh, <laughs> and so. <laughs> Uh, that's the reason. Um, we ended up having a vote, and we, we all ended up voting on Haniwa, and then our band name became Haniwa, and ever since then it's also been H Haniwa, Haniwa, Haniwa. Han Haniwa. I called Iowa, it Hawaii for a while. Hawaii. Hanoi. And, Hanoi. and then it's yeah, also Hanoi. called by the question of, what is that? It is in small statues, Japanese statues we bury with the dead to keep the evil spirits away. To let those islands go Oh My man it out of the archipelago As I forget my home Forget me now Never again to direct the wind Where to blow Well I wish I could see your eyes Burning the plans of mine and the holes in time. Summer's love. 
Music is the all the music I write is inspired by like uh, I like to think of it as inspired by you know when Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen did that detective <laughs> series <laughs> they did that detective series and they started off every episode by saying it was the best of times it was the worst of times actually it was bedtime and then it's all like <laughs> a great story well I like <laughs> I like to think that. My music is inspired by the best of times, the worst of times. <laughs> In bedtime? <laughs> okay. Well, um, <laughs> as for myself, uh, I like to try to push the music in a direction like, like more of a grizzly bear sound. Just, I'm, I was really into indie rock whenever we first started this. and I don't know, I've always been interested in like the music how the music flows together right at recording so like bands like Mew and Grizzly Bear how they like have all their changes perfectly and sometimes they'll melt into other songs it's just influences like that make me really want to make this band something special I just want to cut my answer and say jazz all the way jazz inspires my music a hundred percent like giant steps is every every single thing I've ever written <laughs> uh, I'm influenced by dreamy sounding music, uh, music that sounds like you're on a cloud, and also strong female vocalists have been a big, <laughs> have been a big influence for me. Uh, I don't, um, yeah, but I love them. I love girl singers. <laughs> um, I... Uh, like a lot of uh, classical music, um, I like uh, a lot of video game music, and like kind of uh, just like modern compositional uh, things. A lot, not a lot of. Uh, I don't know. I think when I when I think of my influences, I I really just. Uh, uh, besides like Radiohead and like the the, mod, the contemporary bands, I think I pull a lot from kind of weird sources like that, like video games and uh, old classical music. I love Shostakovich, and I, um, you know, I, when I'm wanting something really dissonant, I'll maybe like listen to how he does stuff, or if I want something you know kind of repetitive but like energetic, you know, I might go to like uh, like you know, the old Mario games. Uh, I guess classical music and video game music. <laughs> <laughs> Fly. Settle 
on your window to die. Pour upon your shoulder all oh, his instead of mine. Shuttle you through limbo, limbo. first gig was i'm pretty sure that that was in at my house on new year's oh. 2014 2014 new year's January well, 13 to 14 right um and we it was when we were still a five piece and we had set up in my um in my living room moved everything <laughs> out and had a bunch of people over to have a new year's eve party to uh play a show for them and at that point we um, were still using the drums that were preset onto the, on the keyboard. keyboard. So we had like certain presets for every single song and be like, all right, guys, ready, set, boom. <laughs> we also had like, a, like the biggest amp was maybe like this big. And for each of our mics, we had like a little amp. So just <laughs> behind us, just there's just like a wall of amps. Except for Alan's amp. Alan had a huge amp. bass amp. A mammoth yeah. thing. It like had like colors that like changed with what yeah. you're playing. It but was like way, it was way a really, too extravagant compared to It was to a really else. great environment because it was all of our friends. Everyone there was a really good friend. I had a whole bunch of friends there and um, we split up our set and celebrated the new year drank and then and drank and stuff <laughs> in between the set and came back and like played even better. <laughs> it was a really great time. I thought it was better. It sounded there's better a, to there's us. There's a video of me that's horribly, horribly off key and I'm like. <laughs> no one cares. Also, Sean, Sean had that sweet like cat hat. <laughs> oh, yeah, I had yeah. that in my car. I thought about bringing it. Oh. <laughs> You said I found you Let you share all of your skin You said you want to Share with me until the end You said
one you said you So the first album I ever bought, I think I bought two at the same time, um, and they were on cassette, so it's like way back, but uh, I got TLC's Crazy Sexy Cool and <laughs> Harvey Danger, Where Are All the, Where Are All the Merrymakers Gone? And, you know. uh, my first album, I want to say I, I was 12 years old, and my friend Chris gave me a CD player that he didn't want anymore, so I immediately went to Walmart and buy, bought Linkin Park Meteora. I thought it was the best out award out. Uh, CD probably split in half. <laughs> <laughs> My first album was 1997, Celine Dion, Let's Talk About Love. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember after I played it all, I rewound it to like, you know, make it ready for the next time. The CD, I rewound the CD. <laughs> <laughs> Be kind, please rewind. <laughs> I was confused. Yeah, what was awesome. your first one? My first one was a cassette. Uh, I had to have been like six, six or seven. Uh, and it was the Mortal Kombat soundtrack. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, what is the next step for our band? Well, We're hoping to become uh, at least a hundred times bigger than the Beatles. Yeah. Next step. <laughs> I was thinking who's selling us short. Like I'm thinking a thousand. Like we have Norman Music Fest lined up, and after that, I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be South Madison Park. Square Garden. Yeah. Easy. Madison Square. And then the Moon. Uh, the got, Moon. Yeah. yeah the, I hear about the. They're making a new stage on the Moon, and I. They, they're lined up like Honey Wah, and I think Wah are gonna play. I'd like to play yeah. in each of our constellations. Yeah. 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 What is our next step? Uh, I want to say South by if we're speaking South, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking yeah, honestly, sure. Let's South do that. by is our, is, we want to play South Why by. Why not?
can hear our music, places you can hear it. You can hear us live uh, at Norman Music Festival, the Love Works stage at 7 p.m. on April the 25th, which is a Saturday. And typically people don't work on Saturday, so you can come see us. And then um, beyond that, you can find us online on Facebook, um, on Ewa Band, or on Bandcamp. Bandcamp, yeah. On SoundCloud, on iTunes, Any on place Spotify. music is made. Spotify. Spotify. Oh, you said that. Yeah, Spotify. And Twitter. Twitter. I'd like to quickly Tumblr. formally apologize to anyone who works on Saturdays. Yeah, anyone that works on Saturdays, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and my heart goes out to you. Uh, SoundCloud. A- if you Google, SoundCloud if you now. Google Haniwa Band, we're, we'll be there. And we're we, the only we ones all right our shows now. Online too. We're always there for you. Always. Oh, too bright. <laughs> Burning the plans of mine and all 